City police are awaiting autopsy results on the death of an infant who was found unresponsive at a Bossier City daycare. Tonight we have a statement from her mother and we also take a closer look at some of the state inspection deficiencies at Plume Academy. KSLA News 12's Tamer Knight reports. It was Monday, March 11th, when Bossier Fire Department rushed to Plume Academy after three-month-old Dakota Becker was discovered not breathing. According to Bossier officials, CPR was performed and the baby was taken to the hospital. Dakota was pronounced deceased and now officials say her death is under investigation. KSLA started its own investigation into state inspection deficiencies at Plume Academy over the last year not associated with Becker's death. In 2023, CPR certifications requirements were not met on two different instances, citing that there was a deficiency due to failure to show documentation that all staff members were infant, child, and adult CPR certified. Also, in 2023, during the two inspections, there was also two other deficiencies on separate instances in which staff members who have access to children did not have current certification and pediatric first aid training approved by the department. And back on September 15th, 2023, a staff member failed to notify child welfare within 24 hours of a critical incident after a one-year-old's arm was pulled out of the socket at the elbow, according to a doctor. The one-year-old was playing with the two-year-old at the time. The staff member stated they did not report the incident because she didn't think she needed to. KSLA reached out to the mother of Dakota, Kelly Becker, and she says this was not her story. She says, I just really would like to clear up that we do not suspect anything on the daycare's end. While Dakota was there, they took great care of her along with our oldest daughter, Blake, for the last three years. Dakota was the biggest blessing and came into this world full force with no waiting. We love and miss her dearly. The daycare has been by our side this whole time and have been so helpful during this time. We will continue to follow this investigation as more details become available. And Bozier, Tamer Knight, KSLA News 12.